Spook a scary skeleton. All right, first thing you gotta do, part, right? This is gonna be the trigger for the jump scare. You gotta make it big. We're gonna make it invisible, anchor it, and turn off Ken Collide. All right, now we make a screen UI. We're gonna call this, we're gonna call this jump scare. Then add a image label. Call this the scare. The size is one zero one. Zero, and then we gotta find an image. You just like pick an image and then copy the ID, and then go down to image and just paste that, and it's right there. And now we just wanna disable that, and then go to our our trigger, add a script. In the script, just write this stuff. I'll describe it in a second. So this is this is when they touch it. It'll check if it's a person and if they are allowed to touch it again, because that's what the debounce does. It makes it so you can't like constantly trigger it over and over. And then we set that to truth, so they can't trigger it again. And then we enable the jump scare. We wait a second, and then we remove the jump scare. But we wanna add a a scary sound, right? Add a sound to the trigger. And then we wanna set a off distance to like I don't know. 50. And we want to just, you know, make that loudish. And we gotta go find the sound. And then paste the ID there, like it did with the image. And I'm gonna add some reverb. And now then we gotta go. Right that. Sound play. Now, when we play the game, the trigger's right there. Real scary. But if you didn't notice, it didn't fill up this top bar. So the way we can fix that is just make the scare taller. And then move it slightly up. And center it. And then disable it again. And there's our trigger. Close the whole screen. And we can't trigger it again. And that's how you make it the silly little jump scare. Hey, Stinky! What the 